Hi, welcome to my video on the best online community platforms for your course business. I'm going to preview the different online community platforms and talk about what I see as the advantages and disadvantages of each platform. Uh, so uh, stick along for the video. There'll also be timestamps in the description below. The a reason why I want to start this video is because a lot of uh, <clears throat> this is the Thinkific um, Studio uh, online uh, Facebook group. The reason why a lot of people like Facebook is because most of our friends and family and neighbors and community members are on Facebook. Uh, Facebook is free, it's easy to use, and there's a lot of advantages with the built-in network. There's a lot of opportunities to tap into other Facebook groups to promote your own group, if that's allowed, and also to do market research. So Facebook is very popular, the name may change later on, but like you see in this group, there's a lot of ways that you as an admin, as a, mo a moderator, you can have someone to organize the posts, set up the settings, you can do live video, you can add photos and videos, you can even have specific events tailored to this group. So there's a lot of ways to grow your community and it's very easy to use and it's very easy to set up. There's not a lot of technology like a set up involved. The only downside uh, with Facebook is that it's easy to get distracted. I think about myself, if I see, oh, there's a notification here, or there's a video here, or there's a message here, I'm tempted to check that instead of focusing on my community and some interesting discussions that are happening. So that's why I think Facebook has some upsides and downsides, and it's definitely easy to use and there's no cost. So that's one of the pluses why a lot of people start on Facebook is because it's very accessible and most of us already have a Facebook and or Instagram. I wanna also talk about some other free um, alternatives to Facebook before I go into some paid options. So Slack is what I have used in the past for my online coding meetup group. Uh, so we're called Hacker Owls. We've started on Slack. And what I like about Slack is that uh, the threads is the huge like advantage. It's how like conversations are threaded. Whereas if you look at Thinkific, let's just take a discussion, for example, and to show you the differences between Thinkific and Slack for threads. So the, the one challenge or I think disadvantage I see with the threads on Facebook versus threads on Slack is that it's just here in Facebook, like all these stream of uh, comments and you have to sort between if you want all comments, most recent comments, or just to see all comments. And that's similar to the way it's set up in YouTube as well, if you're on a live stream. So for me personally, it depends on you as a course creator running your community, how you want to set up. Now, what I like about Slack is the way the threads are set up. So this is a thread in the general channel. And so anything related to this topic or this message is organized and so instead of someone in general channel having to you know scroll through for all the replies if they just click on threads they will see that one specific conversation and all the related replies uh, to that thread and uh, conversation in one kind of container so that's the advantages. I also think it's much um, easier to manage direct messages. So whereas Facebook, you get a combination of uh, messages from people in your own community, also from friends. When you have a specific community dedicated to your course business, like in Slack, then you can just kind of message whoever in here that is in your group contact them directly without having to get distracted with personal and more business related conversations. The one disadvantage I have to say about Slack is that there is no way to do live video. Uh, if you wanted to do live video, you would have to integrate Zoom, which is an upgrade. You'd have to upgrade to another plan. So if you're trying to stick to a budget and kind of start slow and warm up before you invest too much into a lot of technology, Slack is another great alternative. You can do one-on-one -on -one, um, phone calls. So like I can uh, message this individual person and set up a one-on-one -on -one call or I can uh, do a video call. So that's just some examples of why I like Slack as another alternative to Facebook. 
The other thing is you can set up different channels. Right now we have archived all the other channels, but we used to have a specific Thursday meetup channel. We'd have a like job search channel. So you can set up different kind of sub conversations within this one group and it makes it easier. And then if you're notified, then they'll kind of, this will get highlighted to say who has tagged you in a conversation. And if you like this thread, then I can bookmark this thread and I can, you know, add a reaction or I can uh, reply in the thread, or I can also send this message say, Hey, I saw this event that I think you might be interested in. I can just share it directly in a DM to someone else. So that is why I like Slack. Uh, if I had to choose between Facebook and Slack, then I would definitely go to Slack. Now, the reason why we've uh, moved to Discord is probably, probably not a lot of people are familiar with Discord, but I like Discord because it's very, it's, uh, it is initially built for the gaming community, but there's a lot more opportunities now to do live streams, to do voice channels. So if I run a meetup that has no host, but people want to just gather together, then people can just record messages. There's a new feature that's called events so that we can set up, as you can see here, there's events. So now we can set up events and have live video is a little bit more robust than Slack. There are some challenges. It's not as easy to set up as Slack because there's a lot of features related to how it was built for gamers. But once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. The other thing I have to mention is that it is also free. So if you are as going along with starting out and you're not sure if you want to pay for a, you know, platform that I would highly recommend uh, discord. And the other thing I have to say, if you either, you can use these as a community platforms to kind of start out, you can also use these for your uh, business. So if you are uh, selling courses and you offer a uh, supportive, like community learning space, then you can use Slack and or discord too. The cool thing is you can set up different groups in discord for different parts of your business. So maybe you have a general like free group, uh, to get people interested. And then you have a paid group, then you can kind of set up the different groups in discord for different features and for different topics. And so that's what I like about discord. And it's very, there's a lot of new features that are coming out that will be reflected similarly to circle, which is a paid platform. And eventually as you grow your community on discord, there's a lot of ways to sort of enhance and boost the servers. And it's not as technical as it sounds. Now I have to say the other thing is a disadvantage is uh, one of the limitations of discord is the threads, whereas Slack, um, as you saw, it was really easy to see the threads. It's not as easy in discord. It's a little bit more uh, challenging. So let's just take a thread. For example, as you can see, it's a little less obvious. So if someone started a topic here, it is now directly underneath rather than whereas in uh, Slack, it was more of a separate container. So that's the limitation of Discord, but I'm super excited to try out the events and uh, give you an update later on how we use events for our virtual coding meetups. And then the last uh, platform that I wanted to talk about is Circle. So Circle is the latest online community platform it is different. It requires a paid, there is a 14 day free trial, which is free, but after that it ranges from 39 to 79 a month, but definitely check it out because I think it's really powerful. It is more robust in the sense that you can add links here. You can add members to different spaces. So I've set up like maybe a general think of a course creators, but I can have another space for maybe like a paid course. And so maybe I could say this is the, the, uh, launch, um, course six weeks. So then I can choose between posts and our events. And then I can make, so this could be my main like public group, but this could be my private group where only people that I enroll in can access this. So then I can create this new space. And then let's take a look. So now you have, uh, you see that I have two different spaces, one, which is public and then one, which is private. Now, what I really like is not just the fact that you can do posts and events, but if I create a post, 
there's a lot of different options in terms of attachments like facebook allows you to attach a file in terms like of a video the cool thing here is i can add video i can add images i can add a reaction but it has a lot of integrations um, i can also customize my posts uh, a lot more than i can in facebook in facebook it's a little bit more work to kind of customize your post so that it's bold or italics and you can also add an audio track from Spotify, Instagram. So there's a lot more features and even GitHub, which is really powerful. So if I'm running my coding community on Circle, what I could do is embed a, um, a code uh, file from GitHub so that I can talk about a specific lesson this week that we're working on in terms of an open source project and what I see as ways for people to write better code. So it's definitely a lot more robust in that feature. What I like about Circle is that you can really brand this. If you really are looking to amplify and up-level your business with a very branded community platform, then that's where Circle really is advantage. It allows you to brand the color scheme, the titles, set up different kinds of spaces, manage spaces that are a little bit more takes it a lot more than Thinkific communities as an example, because if you look at Thinkific communities, it's a lot more limited for engaging with your course. And so this allows you to have this public community forum, but also like a private uh, space for like a, a live course that you're running or different kinds of workshops. And so it really saves you a lot from needing other additional tools and software. And it's really a good alternative to Facebook if you're ready to ditch Facebook and do something a little bit more private and a little bit more uh, personalized. Uh, the other thing I wanted to, to show you that I really like about Circle is that you can even uh, customize the link. So right now mine says Thinkific Learning Experience, but you can totally change that if you go to the settings. So let's take a look. Okay. So in the settings, which is really, uh, there's just so many different options to like tag. And then what I really like is a single sign-on. If you're not familiar with a uh, single sign-on. Single sign-on really saves your users a lot of time so that there is a custom domain that they log in through. And it's just for people that have trouble with passwords, saving passwords and logging in. This will really uh, save them time. And then once you do that, you can even set up a custom URL. So right now it's just my thinkific learning experience dot circle. You can route this so that it has your own domain. So if mine is thinkificlx.com, I can just redirect this so that people log into my community through thinkificlx.com. And the last uh, thing I want to recommend about what I like about a circle is that if you're an iPhone user, there is an app. Um, I think there is an Android app as well, but I know for sure there is one on iPhone. So if you are someone who likes to check things, not just on your laptop, or you like to check things on your uh, mobile phone or even tablet, then that's where they have an app that makes it easier and a lot just uh, more flexible in terms of options. So that's the summary of Facebook and Discord, Slack and Circle. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll have links to Circle in the description below so that you can check it out and decide if it's worth investing for your business.